Good, Good morning. morning. Today we're going to have a stay home every day getaway because here in Central Virginia there's a lot of ice coming down. So things are pretty slick out there or getting slick out there. So we're just going to spend some time and we're going to make something special today. Um, by the way, we have about 30 new subscribers and we want to say thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and we just want to introduce ourselves. I'm Tammy and this is my husband, Doug. And we're retired teachers who are now just traveling and enjoying and uh, Hopefully when COVID's over, we can travel a little bit more, but right now we're enjoying Central Virginia. So come along, we're gonna go to the kitchen and we're gonna bake some. Hey, we're here with our friend Frosty the Snowman and we just wanna stop by and wish you all a Merry Christmas and we hope you have a wonderful new year. And for the next few days, we're gonna kind of celebrate the 12 days of Christmas starting on the 14th and every other day, uh, we'll drop a video and hopefully just help spread some Christmas joy. They will actually go through January the 5th, which I think the 12 days of Christmas normally runs till then. So we'll, we'll do every other day and just share a bunch of videos with you. Uh, some Christmas, some just fun things, and hopefully just bring some joy. So take care of yourselves, take care of others, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So we're actually gonna make two things today. Uh, first one is crock pot cinnamon roll casserole, which I have seen several times online and I wanted to try it. We're going to give it a whirl today and if it works, then next week at Christmas, I think we'll try it again. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We'll talk about the pecan pie balls here in a little bit. So for this, it's all in the crock pot. I have it sprayed and on low. And we're going to start by whisking together three eggs. And I may have told you before, I always crack eggs in a separate container. My dad always told me to do that. So if you get shell in it, it's always in there. It doesn't mess up the whole recipe. Uh, half a cup of either half and half or whipping cream. And I had whipping cream, so that's what I'm using. We've got uh, three tablespoons of maple syrup and two teaspoons of vanilla. But I already had pre-measured. Get those in there. Got a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and I'll be honest, I thought I had nutmeg and I didn't, so I'm using allspice, but it's got nutmeg in it, so we're gonna call it done. And we're just gonna quickly whip that together. And then we're gonna move on to the cinnamon rolls. These are just two cans of cinnamon rolls from the grocery. And today I'm using Pillsbury. They were two for $4 at Kroger, so that's what we got. And we're gonna cut those into fourths. So I'm gonna take a minute and get all those cut, and then we'll throw it all together. All right, so we're putting all these little quarters of the cinnamon rolls in the bottom. And that was a nice, easy chop on those. I'm trying to break them up a little bit as I put them in. And once we get those all in, we're gonna pour that egg mixture on top. And let's see if we can roll here through those. I guess I could have started that ahead so that you didn't have to watch me do all that. We're gonna pour that egg mixture over the top. And it does call for, at least as an option, a third of a cup of chopped pecans. And we like pecans or pecans, however you say them. But when I chopped up a third of a cup, it didn't really look like enough to me. So I went back and added a few extras. Oopsie. That'll go on the, the reel here at the end for a blooper. All right, so then we're gonna throw in those chopped pecans and one of the icings that come with it and it cooks for two and a half hours and if you stay tuned to the end of the video we'll come back and let you know how it tastes so our second bake of the day is pecan pie balls which we've never had but we absolutely love pecan pie it's one of our holiday favorites and so we thought we'd try these. It's a quick bite and we'll see how they go. They do say online that they're really messy to make. So we might make a mess. We'll, we'll let you know how that is. And hey, while we're getting started, why don't you drop us a line uh, just in the comment section and let us know what's your favorite holiday treat? What do you like to bake or make at the holidays? 
Uh, so I'm going to put in to my bowl two and a half cups of finely chopped pecans and I did throw them in the food processor because it says if there's big hunks it makes it a little bit more difficult. Got a cup of graham cracker crumbs and we threw the graham crackers in the food processor also and it's a little less than one of the little sleeves. Got a cup of brown sugar and three-fourths of a cup of maple syrup and I already have a teaspoon of vanilla mixed in that and you're supposed to go ahead and mix this start mixing it together and then uh, you can add butter to it I've got three-fourths of a cup of melted butter but you don't want it apparently too sticky so you start mixing and then start adding the butter and depending it says on how big the pecans are chopped might depend or make a difference in how much butter you use and I can see where this could be a mess. All right, so I'm gonna just get this finished mixed up and then we'll roll them into balls. You put them in the fridge and then we'll coat them in chocolate. So we'll bring you back in a bit. So we mixed it up really well. We did go back and add a little bit more graham cracker and I sprayed my hands and put a little flour on them and you're supposed to make one inch balls and they were they're sticking together pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and make up all of the balls and then they go in the fridge for an hour or so to get a little bit hardened and then we'll dip them. Well, it is sticky and messy. I have sprayed my hands several times. I'm using a little bit of flour here and there, but even though it's a little sticky and messy, this stuff is delicious. I have checked it out already and I promise you this inside even as much of a pain as it is to roll. I think I could eat this on top of ice cream or just by itself, it's really good. We kept them in the fridge probably a couple hours, actually in the freezer, not the fridge. And we're just gonna give them a Dunkin' chocolate. You can use whatever melting chocolate you want. I have some in a mug for right now just for simplicity but this won't be enough. So I have some semi-sweet chocolate chips we're gonna use also. And then after you give them a little dunk, you can put some little Christmas or whatever holiday it is, sprinkles or something on top if you want. So we'll add a little bling and then we'll get the rest done and check them out for you, let you know how they taste. We made about 40 pecan pie balls and I put them in Ziploc bags and then this tin, I'm gonna put the tin in the freezer and freeze them. Uh, the recipe does say that you can keep them in the fridge for up to two weeks or you can freeze them and I'll post the link to both of the recipes um, in the description. So I made some of these with milk chocolate and some of the pecan balls with semi-sweet chocolate. This is a milk chocolate. You know, a lot of chocolate taste. Definitely taste of the graham crackers and the pecans and the maple. Those are delicious. That's definitely a keeper. I would make those and eat those a hundred times over. Even the inside stuff by itself. The crock pot casserole, it's not a looker. Um, it looks like a blob. And we'll give it a try. If I'm honest, it just tastes like you cooked a can of those cinnamon rolls in the oven and added some pecans to it. So if you were doing a big breakfast or something and you needed to feed a lot of people, I think the casserole would work. But on a normal day, I would probably just make the cinnamon rolls in the oven. Oh, there you have it. It's been good to be with you today. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and uh, I hope you're enjoying this Christmas season.